Hey, what's up, what's up? So I promised you guys behind the scenes. So this is, um, I just want, I've been up since about 6, um, 15 or so. Haven't, haven't quite gotten to the point of getting ready, but I've been up since 6, 15. I've been coaching, um, answering calls, answering calls, literally answering calls. I've had three calls this morning already. And, um, and my amazing photographer, from Steve Bird Studios is over here <laughs> making magic happen. SteveBirdStudio.com. I'll actually put a link. Absolutely fantastic photographer. I mean, his work is stupid. It's so good. Um, so he's he's doing his magic, and I'm gonna go in the bathroom and do my magic. And so here's a couple of things. People always say, okay, well, Donna. Like, what is your first thing in the morning ritual? So what's up, Elizabeth, HBZ family? What's up, Don, Stevie Don, HBZ fam in the house? So people are like, okay, so what's your first thing in the morning thing? First of all, I have to put on super hype music. I usually, uh, I usually have a speaker, a JBL Bluetooth speaker that I travel with. However, my packing this time would not allow that considering I have way too many outfits for a few days. Um, but you know, just in case the photographer is like, no, this outfit doesn't work for me, then I will change. Um, so, um, the things that I do is number one, I go and plug, make sure that everything is plugged in. Um, so all my, my iPad, my iPhone that I get those plugged in. The second thing that I do is I turn off every single solitary sound that you can think of. Right. Um, so nothing goes to do not disturb anything like that. And the third thing is that I put my um, my iPad and my iPhone, uh, not only are they in silent mode, but I also make sure that they have the, the screen lock will not come on. The reason that I do this whole thing with the screen lock is because I might have to use my iPad and my iPhone as timers, especially based on the size of the stage. I might have one on one side and one on the other side or one in the middle. So I make sure that those things are taken care of. Um, I get any quick emails or, or texts or whatever that I got to get out of the way. I think I've already done eight of those this morning. So I try to get all that stuff out of the way. Once I have feel like, okay, I've gotten my heads, like all my to do's out of the way. I double check my, um, what time I'm supposed to be downstairs. I double check with the video the AV guy and make sure that he got everything that he needs. So I kind of go through this checklist, technology, AV people, anything that I need to know about the presentation before I go downstairs. I always check, you got the HDMI, and like I check all this stuff. I'm, you know, I have that techie background, so, and I've done a lot with AV, so I wanna make sure that they have everything that they need and there are no questions at all. So I get all that stuff taken care of. Um, then beyond that, now I'm ready to start getting headspace ready, Donna ready, heart ready, all that. Mentally, I am going through my speech. So what does that look like? Because most people, I will tell you, do this in a really, I think they kind of do it in a wrong way. And why I think they do it in the wrong way is because most people, when they're doing um, their, their speech, they start at the beginning and they only start at the beginning. And so they'll rehearse the beginning like 3,000 times and they will have not rehearsed the end or the middle at all because when you're in your headspace, you tend to start at the beginning. So what you wanna do is I break my, my speech down into like maybe five pieces. So I have a beginning part and I'm gonna practice that. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna practice the end. I'm gonna practice something in the middle. So in other words, I practice pieces of my speech mentally. I do not have my speech completely written down. That is not how I roll. Um, but I do know my five main parts of my speech. Not know as in memorize, but I know what those points are and what I'm gonna say. Um, so I have that. I might even take my laptop and open it up. As you can see, it's open right here already. Right, so I'll take my, I'll take, I don't know if you saw that, wait, did you see that? Uh, no, there it is. Okay, so you'll see my laptop's already open. And so one of the things that I will do is I will have my laptop open and I'll go to different parts of my speech. So I might go to the, the last slide, I might go to the first slide. Even if I'm not using slides for my speech, I still have bullet pointed slides that I can pay attention to. Um, this is just a way for me to say, no matter what happens, I know where these points are. I also know those where those five points are timing wise in my speech. So if I'm doing a 45 minute speech, I can usually guesstimate, you know, I have one at the one minute mark, 10 minute mark, and you know, so on and so forth. So you really need to know where your things are mentally in your head space. I am probably in my head thinking 10,000 times about two main parts the most my opening and my closing, 
right? I know I want to open strong. I know I want to close stronger. And so one of the things that I'm going to make sure that I do is I'm thinking about that closing. I am literally creating the future of that closing in my mind. I know what that closing is going to look like. I know what the closing is going to be. I know how the audience is going to react. Like I'm creating that future. And so I think that's really important that the amount that you practice mentally is super strong, right? And you want to you want to keep getting that mental practice on. And so I will do that over and over and over again. So what you're hearing me say is practice. Practice in the shower. Practice while you're brushing your teeth. Like practice as you go along. Keep doing it. Don't just practice the beginning. Make sure that you practice the end as well. Um, let's see. Uh, last thing is time. I'm always a stickler about time. So I always validate what time I'm going to be downstairs. I historically get downstairs about... 45 minutes before I'm supposed to speak, right? So if I'm going to go on at 9.15, I'm going to be down there at 8.30. The reason is, number one, I want to make sure I talk to the AV guy. I might even go down an hour early because I know they're doing a networking thing this morning. So I want to get down there. I want to shake hands. I want to talk to people. I want to say hi to people as they're walking in the door. So I want to make sure I'm doing that. I want to check out the stage space. I want to talk to the AV guy. I want to get mic'd up. So all of those things need to happen, plus I need to network, right? So it's all the things. You're not just there to, you know, take your roller bag and put it behind the podium, talk on stage, and then run out to your airport. That's not really what you should be doing. You're really supposed to be trying to make magic happen and create an experience for people. Um, So I am going to check my times again. I already sent an an email out, (laughs) believe it or not. Last night at like 1.15, I sent out an email um, and of course I'm expecting the, the lady who runs this to send back and say, yes, it's still 915 or no, it's not. Or, and, and one of the things that I emailed also ask her, and is it okay for me to come down at 815? Just the validation. And I tell them all the time, it's not a big deal. If you don't answer, I'm going to be down at this time. Um, and that's really it, right? So I'm ready to go. I mean, not ready. I'm not ready. This is, this is not stage ready. I'm going to go and get stage ready right now. That's what I'm going to do. So this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. And now I got to look like something that somebody wants to see on stage because no one needs to see this. Uh, except for this poor guy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and let me tell you about my amazing photographer. He is dealing with another level of crazy here. So he calls me, he, he texts me, and he said, hey, you know what, I can't get up in the elevator because I don't have a card. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're absolutely right. Let me get dressed and come down. And he's probably like, okay, that's how we're rolling this time. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, wait, wait, no, 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 that sounded bad. I meant, let me, I was wearing, you know what, never mind, I'm just coming downstairs, right? So, so he's dealing with me trying to get in my headspace while trying to you know, manage being appropriate, which is never happening. You guys know I don't have an appropriate bone in my body. So it's really difficult when you're trying to be good. It, it doesn't work, right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't work. It, it doesn't work for me. I'm clearly bad at it. Anyway, um, if you are, so he is an absolutely amazing professional photographer, videographer, I mean, professional commercial type shot. I mean, just, whoa. Okay. Like he can only hang out with me until... 12 because he has to go shoot some national commercial like <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm taking a picture. anyway um but if you want to know more about him it is steve s-t-e-v-e bird b-y-r-d studio studio no s studio um to the someone you just he he is someone who's absolutely amazing that I talked to all day yesterday and I've seen all of his work and this is the first time we're getting to work together yay Um, because it's the first time I'm in Austin. He's in Austin, Texas, but he does travel. And we're talking about having him come do magic at the High Profit Zone retreats. Yeah, maybe not High Profit Zone 4, so family, if you're online, and look. So she's like, got it. So she's a family member, and she's like, got it, yes. Okay, maybe not 4, but he will definitely, most likely, be at 5. So anyway... Yeah, we're looking at photography and videography at, a, at another level. So that way you can get the photography and videography done while you're there, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyway, as you can see, he's setting up. And so I got to go set up because this should not be happening to anyone at this time in the morning. Like this all should not be happening. It's not as bad as she says it is. Trust me. Okay? <laughs> but, but, but I, I do understand being 
stage ready and being I haven't brushed my teeth that's all I'm saying he's being kind because this right here is causing a fog in the room that's all I'm saying right so I'm just being real he's so sweet though but holy crap what's happening in there anyway so I gotta go get ready I kind of gave you guys a quick and dirty um, checklist Anyway, good morning, all my HPZ fam. I see you guys. Um, what are you doing up so early? Wait, you're an hour behind me. Slack asses. Anyway, I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.